Okay, this is a 2008 KTM 450, and uh, what happens is it has a leaky master cylinder for your clutch. This is a problem every once in a while on a KTM. You use your clutch a lot, it's going to wear out. So it leaks right here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this apart. We're going to pull, out, pull the reservoir cover off. We're going to go ahead and pull this wind guard off and the handle out. And we're going to go ahead and take it off the bike. That way we can get to the pieces, replace them really quick. We're going to bleed it. We'll show you how to do that. And now we're going to show you the tools that we need to use the, to, we're going to use to replace this. Once again, our mineral oil can be gotten at any store. It's just a laxative. Uh, a screwdriver, your repair tool from your KTM or an 8mm socket, an uh, 8mm wrench for your bleeder, Allen wrench, which you need a 3mm, once again snap ring pliers, and the rebuild kit, which we got from the KTM dealer. They, always, they usually always have these in stock, they're pretty easy to get, comes in a nice bag, so we're going to go ahead and start taking this apart. We'll show you anything that comes up, and we'll show you how to put the new parts in. Okay, we've removed the master cylinder now from the bike. And we drape a rag over the radiator shroud so that all the oil can run on here and stuff all over the plastics and everything. All you do is you take this snap ring out, which is behind this, this seal right here. You just pull this out and it comes right out. You see your snap ring in the plunger. You just take your snap ring pliers. Now this is going to pop out at you a little bit. So you pull your snap ring. It'll come up. Once again, drop your parts in a bucket you keep on over here. And pay attention to how this comes apart so you know how it goes back together. And there's your plunger rod. All right. What I like to do now is go ahead and take and we'll let this hang over and let it drain. That way everything's out of here, all your old oil, anything, any dirt that may have sucked back in there from, from it leaking. And just clean everything out pretty good. It doesn't have to be spotless, but you want to make sure that it is clean. It makes it easier to put it back together and it makes it makes everything last a lot longer and work a lot better alright so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go grab the new parts we'll start assembling alright we have the new plunger rod I go ahead and lube these so they're not going in dry you can either use the mineral oil or you can use your uh, o-ring lube mineral oil is fine because that's what's gonna be submerged in slide that in put your new piece on there your new nylon Take your snap ring. This is press your plunger down in. I need a screwdriver. Push this in. Take a screwdriver in the middle. Push it down in. Slide your snap ring in. Let it go. Let your plunger back up. Take your new. Uh, your new seal boot, push it in here. Once again, take your small screwdriver and just make sure, go around and just lightly push it in. Make sure it's in its seal boot. Now you're ready to reassemble your handle and put it back on the bars. Okay, before we put this master cylinder back on, this is what I like to do on every bike I work on and all my kids' bikes and my bikes, is I always wrap some plumber's tape or ply tape uh, around my bars. Just one little wrap is all it takes. Yeah, that one's not any good. It didn't stay flat. You just take one little wrap around your bars, put underneath there. That way when you tighten your clamps down and you don't tighten them down a lot, you just tighten them down firm enough that it holds it in place, but you can still bang on them and they'll fly out of, they'll fly or bend out of the way so that you don't break off all your handles and you're not always replacing handles. Some some of the newer bikes and some of the aftermarket ones come with the bend away plastic liners. If you're using the factory ones, they usually don't. This way, when you lay your bike over, these will push out of the way. All right, to bleed this out, you fill your master cylinder up most of the way. It's going to take quite a few pumps to get this to get fluid back in it because you just replaced it. Now what makes it easier to flow is while you're putting it in, go ahead and open your, your valve down here, and then pump it a few times. Get Work some air out nice and slow. Don't do this really fast. Do this nice and slow. Once you get pressure, start to build a little bit of pressure, a little bit of resistance, hold your handle down and bleed out. This is just like bleeding brakes on a car or brakes on the, on the bike itself. 
All right, now that we've got it bled, bring your level back up. See, it's a little bit below. There's a reason for that. It's so you don't, when you put this thing back in, it doesn't flow out all over the place. This goes in a certain way. This goes back away from your valving. Your valving's right there in the middle, or actually it's off to the one side. This goes away from the valving. This goes towards the valving, so it gives it room for the oil to blow back in. Set that in there. Then you put your cover back on. So once we get this cover on, I'll show you what I mean by the tape on the bars and how that works. All right, see there's the pl plumber's tape underneath the bar. So now when you hit your handlebar really hard, it'll bend out of the way. Now you don't break your handles off. Make sure this is tight enough to hold it in place though, but not too tight that it won't spin.